they look freaky, they look scary, they look uh, kind of vicious a little bit, don't they? Yeah. They look a little uh, vicious, right? So I guess we're going to, we called, we called everywhere, we called emergency hospitals, we called, uh, uh, we were able to go online and find some local rehabilitators that take animals like this, like babies or whatever, that get separated from their parents, and they're able to basically keep them. Best we got, buddy. You hungry? Huh? Dad, you know what you should do? Put a little bit of milk on your titty and let him suck it off. Man, let me click it. Help me. I need a bit a uh, big boy uh, buckle. What up, guys? Little. What up, guys? <laughs> At about well, what was it? Probably like one o'clock last night. Uh, we were driving home from the store. We had to get some stuff for our camping trip. Uh, I see something in the road, right? And usually I try not to look at roadkill because it's kind of like, it's sad, it's gross, you know? Hairball, like maybe like she got hit or something and the hairball flew off of her. Luckily our local uh, animal shelter takes them in, so that we're going to go there now, go ahead and drop them off. It was pretty cool though. That was pretty neat, at least we were able to save some of them. dropped them off we took them in there and the uh the woman picked them up like i was kind of like scared to even touch them but the woman just like picked them up and like stuck it to her shirt so apparently they have a rehabilitator there they'll they'll feed them and kind of reacclimate them back back to the wild 